WordPress is one of the most popular content management and blog platforms in the world, allowing you to create and manage website content efficiently. DigitalOcean is an incredibly cost-effective way to host a WordPress website. It is fast, scalable, and ensures high performance. In this video, we'll create a WordPress one-click droplet, then explain how to set up your WordPress site, configuring the domain and sharing information on how to access the MySQL database. Step 1. Creating a WordPress Droplet To create a WordPress Droplet from the one-click app page, press the Create WordPress Droplet button. This takes you to the Create Droplets page, where you can customize your settings before creating your WordPress Droplet. Choose an image if not already set, you'll need to switch from the Distributions tab to the Marketplace tab. Choose a plan, choose the size you need here WordPress one-click droplets require 1 GB of RAM or more. Choose a data center region, generally, choose the data center closest to your user base. Choose a host name, you can make it easier to identify the droplet by naming it after the site you plan to host. When you've made your choices, click Create Droplet. Once the droplet is created, its address will be displayed. We will use this address later to view the WordPress site. Step 2. Checking the placeholder page. Open a web browser and paste the droplet's IP address into the location bar to visit your new site. You will see a placeholder that you need to log into your droplet using SSH to configure your WordPress droplet. Step 3. Accessing the droplet via SSH to enable configuration. To remove the placeholder web page, you'll first need to connect to the droplet via SSH. Open a terminal on your computer and log into your droplet as root, or your administrative user, via SSH with this command, SSH root at droplet, IP, address. After the first successful SSH login, you're ready to set your administrative password and configure WordPress. Step 4, Configuring WordPress. After WordPress installation has been enabled by logging into the droplet via SSH, visit the droplet's IP address in a web browser. Follow the on-screen prompts to select the language, give the site a name, and configure its administrative user. Once you have completed the initial configuration, you can log in as the administrative user you just created and continue to set up your site. Step 5. Configuring a domain. You can use a domain name instead of the IP address of your droplet, or set up a domain name with your own DNS provider. Either way you connect your domain name to your WordPress droplet, once it resolves using DNS, you will need to update the WordPress configuration to use the domain. Log in to your WordPress admin panel at http colon slash slash droplet underscore IP underscore address slash WP admin using the admin account you created earlier. Click on general under settings in the navigation bar on the left hand side of the page. Update the WordPress address, URL, and site address, URL, fields to reflect your new domain name and click save changes. You can customize your site's appearance, install plugins for added functionality, or create a new post or a page. Step 6. Locating Logins and Passwords Additional details of your installation are provided in the MOTD message of the day, which is displayed when you log into your droplet via SSH. If you need to access your MySQL database server you can find your MySQL root user password in the slash root slash DigitalOcean underscore password file. Your WordPress site should be up and running. You can enhance its security by giving pseudo privileges to your user, lock down root login, and take other steps to make your droplet ready for production.